hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to show you how to create a spinning coin animation and uh, add some particles effect to it so let me play this game and you can see that we have these spinning coins and after selecting after collecting that uh, we can uh, generate a particle effect on that so to do that uh, you need to download this particle system package i will provide the link of this package in the description you can download it from asset store for free or you can download all of these resources i will put the link of these resources in the description of the video also so uh, you will find this simple fx package after importing the package now open it and inside prefabs you will find all these prefab so just uh, we are going to use this fx fireworks yellow small so just drag it and drop it into your hierarchy so i have changed some uh, some of the values in the particle system component and uh, so first thing uh, you need to change the start speed i set it to 20 you can uh, make it 50 40 or anything and start size i have it 0 0.3 and the max particles i set it to 50 so by default it is going to be 5000 so uh, you can put any value here and uh, also in the color i have added this uh, you can uh, change the shader if it is anything else uh, uh, to unlit and color and change the main color to this orange so now if i play you can see that we have this particle system so now we want to generate this particle system when we uh, when our player collects the coin so and uh, for coins you will find a folder called coins here and there are two variants of this kind high, high resolution and low resolution so we are going to use the high resolution and we have a prefab here called high resolution gold coin just drag it and drop it into your scene now on that we have first thing that we need to do is put a tag of coin and we also need a circle collider 2d on our coin so after placing the coins and uh, setting your uh, set up your fireworks you can make a prefab of this object because we need we changed some of the values so just drag it and drop it into your assets folder after changing the values now we are going to uh, go to our player script so in here you can see that in on trigger enter 2d function so you need this function in your code so we are just simply checking if we are colliding with the coin so if our player is colliding with the coin what we are going to do is we are going to instantiate a particle so uh, we need a reference to our particle so on the top i have added this variable public game object particle now now here we are simply calling the instantiate function and uh, we are going to instantiate the particle and the position on which position we are going to uh, give the position of coin so because our player is colliding with the coin so in the call object we will have reference to our coin so through that we can access the position of the coin so wherever the coin is we need to instantiate that particle and in the rotation simply the default rotation of particle game object here now we are storing it in a temporary game object variable because uh, we when we instantiate this 
after 0.5 second we want to destroy this particle so we don't want it anymore so that's why we are uh, calling the destroy function and we are destroying p after 0.5 seconds and after that we are destroying the coin object because when our player collects the coin we don't need this coin anymore so we are going to destroy it by using call dot game object so so uh, that's it now you can play the game so another thing that i have changed if you are following my uh, kitty versus max tutorials i will put the link of this playlist in the description of the video i have uh, changed something so I remember in the previous video we added these two wiles on the corner of our camera so uh, we uh, so it was the, the is trigger property was set to true but we don't want it because uh, we don't want our players to go out of the camera screen camera frustum so we are uh, going to disable the is trigger on both of them and in the script switch direction we are going to change the on trigger enter 2d to on collision enter 2d and make sure to put a collision 2d object right here and in the if we are we were accessing the tag by call dot tag but now we need to accesses access this through game object so uh, just change that and in the next video we will uh, add some more functionalities and uh, complete our game